Alright guys, Mr. DJ Zedge here back again and um, today I'm going to be doing a, um, a tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch um, and any generation range from the third generation um, so forth, you know, anyone you can jailbreak, right? Um, just in case you don't know what jailbreaking is, what jailbreaking is, is um, what you do is you get this app called Cydia and what it does is is it allows you to download third party applications that haven't been authorized by Apple so basically for instance say if I had the game idea I sent it into Apple um, and then they refused it it would then get put on Cydia um, and also people were saying it's it's uh, illegal to do this and that ain't it became legal not illegal in um, this year this year actually I think it became legal in April I'm not too sure um, yeah but yep, yeah, this is about to be a simple tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, I've, there is actually a bit of a problem though. If you're if you're um, updated to 4.0, I um, OS 4.0, then no 4.02, I think it is. Um, you can't do it. There will be some slight problems. But yep. Yeah, so if you want to jailbreak, um, follow my instructions. By the way, the jailbreak that I'm going to be doing on this, well, the jailbreak that I did on this and the, tour and the tutorial that I'm going to be showing you, it's very simple. You don't even need to connect it to your uh, computer. It's up to you if you want to do that. So, yeah, um, I'm going to pause it now. So, I'm going to show you the tutorial. So, peace. Right, so, you go, guys. I'm, I'm on my iPod Touch now, just in case you was wondering. This is the iPod Touch third generation 32 gigabyte. Um, pretty sleek um, you might be seeing my reflection or it might be dodgy like you can see a couple of swells in the video that is due to um, that that's due to my covering so I've got a mirror covering so it really messes it up all right what you're gonna want to do is you want to go to this website called jailbreakme.com and what it allows you to do is it allows you to jailbreak your iPhone or Apple touch without even linking it to the internet and all you need to do is just slide the bar and it will jailbreak it for you. I'm not gonna do it now at the moment because to all, I'm not gonna do it to my iPod Touch because it's already been done. And when it's done, it will reboot, and you should get an app called Cydia. That's the app that I was going about where you can download third-party apps. Oh look, I can see myself in the background. Oh yes. So I just gotta wait for that to load up. Um, the app does take a little bit to load up because it's got to get all of the information for all of the apps and so forth. Um, you can you can't just download apps, you can download themes for your background, you can download stuff you can download other stuff, just general features to your iPod Touch that would be very useful. Um, speaking of one app that is very useful, it's called Stimulus and what that allows you to do is it allows you to download iP um, apps from the app store for free at no charge. But um, I don't have that. I can't even find it on there, I'm not too sure I had to get stimulus. Um, also, yeah, you can manage your packaging and all of the other stuff. Um, you also get updates, you know, updates like from the App Store. You, you also get updates like that, what you would usually get from the App Store. Um, so, say for instance, yeah, when you when you first start up, it has four different, uh, five different categories. It has Cydia, the main home page section, so it goes through all of the different stuff that you can get. Um, changes, so that would be like updates and upgrades uh, you've got manage where you can manage what applications you could, that you've downloaded and you can delete them and so forth and then you can search so if you want to search for a specific thing uh, example YouTube downloader it will come up sorry about the screen guys by the way it's not very good it's, by the way this camera is 8 megapixels so it's pretty decent it's just a mirror effect um, so say if I was willing to download, say for instance, a Chelsea theme, a Chelsea football club theme. Uh, all you would have to do is just type in Chelsea. You can do this for anything, by the way. You can type in M and M, whatever you like. Um, Chelsea. Sorry, guys. I just need to do this. All right. So I've typed in Chelsea, and I've got up a wallpaper, a theme, and then what you do is you install it like so and then, it should, and then you uh, and then it ask you to confirm it and then you get this little black screen and then it runs it through and just downloading it and you get all of these bunch of codes
and then it should say return to Cydia. Um, what you need to do after that is to enable the theme, as you can see I've already got the Chelsea theme, um, is you need to go to settings, you go to settings, scroll down and then there should be um, there should be a little bit for winterboard uh, I mean there should be a section called winterboard when and then you want to tap that and then it should say select theme and then you can pick what theme you want and this is where all of your downloaded themes go to which is pretty good I've actually got the Chelsea theme currently as you can tell I'm a big Chelsea fan oh damn it all right. Um, another good thing is that you is that you instead of downloading applications, you can also download features. Um, as you can see on my iPod, I've got five five rows of applications per page. Um, you can change that. You can you can download features for that. It's pretty good. Uh, I will be doing lots more um, tutorials or um, reviews on apps that you can get from Cydia. So I'll test them out and I'll show you what to do with them. Um, if you have any requests. Uh, that you want me to do, just comment below. Um, and also, when you, when you've selected the the application, I mean not the application, the the theme. What you what you do is you go to the select theme, select what you want. So I'm going to change the Chelsea one at the moment. I'm going to change it from Chelsea to a I think it's a BMW black theme. Yeah, BMW glow. My bad. And what it does is it has a little bit in the corner says respring. You want to press that, and then what it does is um, you can't move anything as you can see there because it's basically what it does is it sets it back to the um, home screen where you where you log in. We have to slide the bar, and what it's doing at the moment is it's configuring the features. Uh, you'll see you, you will see what it changes when I log in. Alright, so as you can see, the theme has changed to a BMW. Uh, some of the applications have changed. The colouring of them. Um, say, for instance, if I wanted to go to settings, it has a, a different background. As you can see, the bars are red. Um, one thing that I like as well is that when you uh, say, say, if I selected the Chelsea theme again. I'll respawn it. When you log in, you can also get like a ringtone type of thing when you log in. Um, also, that's another good point as well. You you can't inst um, you can also download ringtones as well as well as um, applications and that from Cydia. So if you want free ringtones, that's good as well. You see, uh, that's, that's just a little. Uh, more it's, it's actually pretty sick having that at the at the beginning um sorry if i sound a bit like uh, to, be, to be honest with you that I, I don't really know a lot about iPod touches on uh, about jailbreak and i only jailbroke mine two days ago so i'm only getting used to it myself but i'm trying to give you a little tutorial on how to jailbreak it um so like i said go to jailbreakme.com link will be in the description you don't need to plug it to your um computer but it is advised to, to uh, just in case you need to back it up in future um, but yeah that's that's all it is to it um, link in the description you, and you can go onto this website and jailbreak it right from your iPod so it is the easiest jailbreak ever so yeah um, this has been Mr DJ's Edge peace